This video is all about controlling LEGO powered up trains using pie bricks. There are several advantages to using pie bricks over the stock firmware. I'll give you a few examples. If you've ever tried to use non-trained motors with the stock firmware, the motors will just run at full speed and you would have to hold down the direction button on the controller to keep moving. If you want to run two motors, you would have to press two buttons at once and make sure to keep the motors at the same speed. Don't forget, they need to run in opposite directions. With the stock firmware, you will need a connection to a controller or a mobile device at all times, or the train will simply stop. This can be an issue in very large layouts where the trains may go out of range. Pybricks solves all of these issues and even adds a few more features such as smooth acceleration. You won't need any programming knowledge the work has already been done for us. In this tutorial, we will use a PC to load the firmware and program, but other options are supported. First, I have to give a huge thanks to Eurobricks user Lock24. This is largely his program at work, and I can't imagine the amount of time that went into it. It automatically detects the type of motor and works seamlessly with just about any locomotive. The only feature it didn't have was supports for lights. Until now. We recently added a new channel to our Discord for discussing community projects. Support for lights was added by our own ampersand. Our Discord is free to join and linked in the description of every video. We always love to see what others are building or to help with LEGO projects. Let's get started. First, we'll navigate to code.pybricks.com. Click on the gear icon and select Install Pybricks Firmware. Make sure the City Hub is selected and click Next. Accept the license, click Next again, Give the hub a name if you wish and click next one more time. There are instructions on screen for downloading the firmware. I never worry with disconnecting devices from the hub, but it is recommended here. Press and hold the button on the hub until the light starts flashing purple. Then click install. If Bluetooth is working correctly on your PC, you should see Lego bootloader show up in the list. Select it and hit pair. The firmware will start downloading and you can release the button. Once this is done, it's time to add the program. We'll use the GitHub link in the description. Click on the file motorcontrol underscore modified.py. On the right, you will see a button to download raw file. Now let's go back to Pybricks. Select file explorer in the top left of the page. Click Import a File and select the motor control program we just downloaded. Then click on the file and we'll change a few settings. First, we'll define the direction of the motors. For a simple dual train motor locomotive, we'll use the default 1 for the rear motor on port A and negative 1 for the front motor on port B. If you are not using a second motor, you can leave this as default. Next, we can enable auto acceleration. This allows you to hold the direction button down and the train will keep increasing in speed. Next, we set the initial light value if you are using them. Zero for off and 100 for full on and anything in between. The only other setting I will mention here is the watchdog setting. You can set this to false and the train will not stop when it loses connection to the controller. This can be very handy in large layouts or at conventions. The controller can be reconnected whenever the hub is in range. Now let's connect to the hub using the Bluetooth icon. Select your hub and click Pair. Press Play to download the file to the hub. The program will start running when it is done. By default, you will have 10 seconds to connect the controller before it will time out. We'll pause here to talk about the hub's LED behavior. If the LED is flashing blue, the hub is on and the program is not running. If the LED is solid blue, the program is not running and it is connected to the PC. Solid red indicates the program is running and no controller is connected. Solid green indicates the program is running and the controller is connected. Holding the button for a few seconds will turn the hub off, regardless of if the program is running or not. You can connect the hub to the PC using the Bluetooth icon if the hub is on and a program is not running. The program can be run after it is connected. Errors will be shown at the bottom of the page. This can be useful for troubleshooting or if you have any issues. 
Press the button on the hub to start the program and then connect the controller. You can see how the speed ramps up instead of just jumping to the next step if you have auto acceleration enabled. By default, you can hold the opposite direction and the train will slow to a stop, even if you hold the button too long. You can press or hold the button again to start traveling in the other direction. If you are using lights in your build, you can press or hold the plus icon to raise the brightness of the LEDs and dim or extinguish them with the minus button. You can also press the red stop button to toggle between fully on and fully off. Again, thanks to Ampersand for this addition to the program. I absolutely love using Pi Brakes for controlling LEGO trains. I typically only use the stock firmware when using brick automation project to control trains. Personally, I've always used train motors for my builds, but this has to be the best solution if you plan on using non-train motors. There will be links in the description to get you started, as well as links to discussion threads on Eurobricks. Feel free to join our Discord and you can get involved in these types of projects. I'm no programmer myself, but was glad to lend a hand in testing the program and putting this video together. I hope in the future we are able to use multiple hubs together on one controller, but I'll leave that to the programmer. Again, a huge thanks to all involved with this project, and thank you for watching. Remember to play well.